EasyMutt.com. Use code Q. Get 10% off right now. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Go get the team you want. Go have the fun you want. Go get the players you want. All right, guys, we're back. Wide receiver tails. I just did the top 10 cards for under 200. Okay, go check that out. Go save your coins and get the right players before you buy the wrong ones. Now, let's get started here. Wide receiver tier list, short and to the point. Chris, trash, don't get him. His catch and traffic is so bad. He, he just, he's like he can't hang on to the ball. There's better options, there's cheaper options. Speaking of cheaper options that are faster, Tyler Boyd, he's gonna be B tier, missing abilities, but he's gonna be fast and pretty good. Uh, for his speed, and you can get him for free, actually, if you just grind the game a little bit, which I'm sure a lot of you already got him for free. He's pretty good. T. Higgins is going to be a downgrade from him, uh, just based off speed, stuff like that. I really think T. Higgins is going to be also a great budget guy, but just missing ability, stuff like that. Hyatt's going to be A tier because he plays better than you think. He just does. His stats are not what matters or abilities. This guy here just goes up and gets it. He's so much fun. He's so good. I really do like him. Juju is a little outdated, missing abilities. He's got 87 speed. Um, this guy here is actually pretty good value though, but it's just not one of the top tier guys right now in the game. Now, Rice, I'm not a big fan of this card. I really think you put him and Smith in the same category. I think you're gonna overpay for these cards and you're not gonna really like what you get. Catching in traffic, jump balls, stuff like that. You're not gonna really like that. Chad is going to be a little bit too slow at this point, but he has okay abilities. Uh, there's just going to be better options. I would definitely pass on him right now. Cooper Cup, they messed up this card. His catch and traffic and his back catch are nothing special. Uh, this card here is newer, but it's not going to be worth your coins. Gabe Davis is going to be right here, guys. 87 speed, or what does he get? 88 speed? He's pretty fast. Either way, uh, this guy here is going to be... Probably the best budget guy for his speed to price ratio is going to be Gabe Davis. Go ahead and try him out. DJ Moore is going to be A tier. He's missing a couple of abilities. He doesn't have the best like animations when it comes to spec catching. I'm not the biggest fan of that card, but he is okay. Devin Hester is going to be C tier. Wow, he was good because of his speed. Now his speed's not top tier. With that being said, his catch and trapping spec catch, all that's not the best at all, but still on the theme team, he might be okay. Pickens is going to be, wow, just at that B tier, almost A tier. Pickens is going to be a little overpriced. Uh, I would not spend that much on him. And yeah, after the ball, after he catches the ball, juke spin, all that feels terrible. Not going to be your type of wide receiver that you really, really want. Uh, but far as like spec catch and size and speed, he's going to be okay. Now, Jerry Rice, this guy plays a little bit better in his stats. He's almost B tier, but I like him. Um, I run him on my my budget team right now, and he does just fine uh, catching in traffic, stuff like that. He's going to be catching the ball in traffic way better than any of these cards. So just keep that in mind if you need somebody to go across the middle. Now, Diggs is a tough one, okay? It depends what you're looking for. Diggs is the best route runner in the game. So you could move him to S tier because he gets deep in, deep out. Stuff like that. Some of that's unique. And I'm not talking about a jump ball guy, but across the middle and running routes, you still need a different guy, right? Not like every person has to be a jump ball guy. Diggs really hits those thresholds and he's really good. Smith wasn't a big fan of this card when he first came out. He's small, he gets ran over, he doesn't run nobody over, and, well, his stats and thresholds are not going to be the best. Brian Finlan is actually pretty good. Uh, I know he's a step slower now, but his ability, stuff like that, he is pretty good, especially at jump ball situations. Now, Odell is going to be right there at the B tier. He's going to be a, a fast guy for his price, but you're going to be missing stuff like across the middle, and I know he has a higher spec catch, but here's the difference. He doesn't have the size to make that spec catch against bigger cornerbacks. So keep that in mind. So this Odell card here, you can put him A tier. 
because of that. It's and you know what's the only thing wrong with this card really is gonna be his size, guys. He's under six foot, and I'm not gonna sit there and tell you, hey, make sure you go throw a jump ball to a guy that can't go get it, right? And why do I like Diggs better? Because Dick has better abilities and route running. So there you go. Now, Mike Evans and Allen, they're just right out of the A tier. They're a little outdated, a little slow, but I'm going to tell you, Keenan Allen gets a pretty good abilities. Uh, they're going to be okay options. Dillon gets nothing good. I didn't like this card day one. Uh, his abilities are not good. His speed is not good. He's definitely going to be a pass at this point. Tory Holt is amazing. He is S tier. Guys, he gets all, he might have the best ability stack in the game when it comes to wide receivers. Uh, Tory Holt, wow. Uh, getting open on this card is not difficult. It really isn't. DK Metcalf is going to be S tier as well. 90 spec catch on his size and his speed. He's got to be S tier. He looks bigger in game than his height. This guy can go really go get the ball. And you got Calvin Johnson here. Just going to be a downgrade at Metcalf because of speed. And yeah, Calvin is still going to be great jumping to go get the ball. He's 90 spec at 6'5". And yeah, at 90 jump, Calvin Johnson is still going to be an elite wide receiver. Now, go to safembamt.com. If you're tired of wasting your money and you enjoy 2K24, look at the prices. Guys, right now, stop gambling your money. Go save your money. It's easy, fast, and legit. Use code CUTE for your discount. This chase card is good in a way. You put him on the outside, let him run deep, stuff like that. But where does he fail? Uh, catching traffic. So if he's not open, guys, his catching traffic is below 85. And it's not very good. So with that being said, this card will drop a lot of balls when he gets hit. Uh, he needs to be open to make that catch. And I get it. He's fast. He's just like OBJ. OBJ is under six foot. And I, that's why I kind of hold OBJ back. If you put OBJ S tier, I'm not going to argue. But I will say Chase is not S tier because it's catch in traffic. AJ Brown just doesn't have the speed to really compete for the S tier position. 87 speed, but you know what? He's pretty good besides that catching traffic, all that. I don't like a spec catch. He's not that big in the game. So just keep that in mind. I think you're kind of overpaying to get him. I think there's cheaper options. Like you can just go get Calvin instead. And my editor put two Hopkins in there for no reason. Uh, Hopkins, guys, is going to be S tier. He's going to hit that great catch in traffic, spec catch. He's over six foot tall. So the difference between him and OBJ, I'm going to say it's going to be the size. I just had more luck. I used both of them, of course. I used every card on this list. But, um, yeah, I just had more luck with Hopkins going up and getting the ball for me. I feel like he's able to box him out a little bit better. I feel like he was just more consistent. He broke more tackles. Stuff like that. Doesn't mean Hopkins breaks a lot of tackles, but he did break more than OBJ. But that's one for me, guys. That was a wide receiver tier list. Go check out my last video. It was the top 10 cards for under 200K. Don't waste your money before you buy. Go, go see that. Now, up next, we got Johnny Football Gameplay. I'll see you then.